everyone and welcome to a smash look at Phantom Doctrine. Franz here as always and this is developed by Creative Forge Games and published by Good Shepherd Entertainment. Now if you're wondering who Creative Forge Games are, they're the guys that were been previously behind Hard West and Ancient Space among other titles. Phantom Doctrine is set in 1983 where you're running your very own spy organisation called The Cable. It takes a lot of things from, it's very XCOM like, but with some very noticeable differences that we'll be pointing out as we jump into the game. A little thing I would like to just point out though is you know exactly what damage you're going to be doing and everything. There's no RNG or anything going on in this. So like I said, it is like XCOM, so it is very much like a turn-based strategy title. So we're going to be jumping into this, so you guys can see just what it's all about. Of course, guys, I didn't know whether to do a Smash Look or a series on this, so do let me know down below in the comments, or with your likes and so on and so forth, if this is something you would like to see. First up, though, we're jumping into the options menu. We've got some video options here, just some basic ones here, but in the graphics, you do have a huge amount of options, and as well with the audio gameplay as well, you can turn any of this off as well and interface you have a lot of changes you can do so we're gonna jump into a brand new game so you guys can see a good chunk right from the get-go of what is going on let us begin so you have regular and steady play a more in-depth version of the story and get to the bottom of things play standard storyline of phantom doctrine so you've got easy medium and hard of course which of course is going to be uh, telling you down here difficult and teddy to benchmark or phantom doctrine experience you get nato tutorial you get the iron man mode of course uh, subtitles uh, all or you can have them foreign or off so we're going to have them just as all just for the sake of this and let us begin this so we can cia the kgb or whatever this might be and you actually get to choose you know your character setup so of course we're going to go franz and we can choose our passport photo lots of passport photos holy crap uh, um, who would we want to be? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Go with this guy. It's just like, hmm. So, codename Deadpan, as an elite CIA network commando, unravel conspiracy set in the middle war torn Burrett and beyond. Codename Koryak, hunt traitors of the motherland as highly decorated KGB counterintelligence. I'm going to go with CIA just now. I'm definitely going to go with CIA. So you guys can see a little chunk of that, and I'm going to, I mean, he's the only one with a hat, but he looks a bit criminal-ish. I don't want to go with that. <laughs> there is a huge range of them, though. There is a very much a huge range. Um, you know what? We'll just go with that. We'll go with this. Let's see. Hello there. All right, so you can, oh, you can actually change the face anyway. I mean, I lose nothing like my passport anymore, so... Yeah, we'll go with that. Eye colours, yeah, well, we are dark brown. Skin colour, well, well, I'm pale as anything. And we can go with... Yeah, we'll go with that. We can trim his hair, side part... Oh, oh Jesus. Um, can we make it brown? I'm, uh, uh, dark brownish. Alright, let's see what other hair we got here. Ah, there we go, we go with that. Clean shaven. We can have that, we can have that. Um, so not get anything, it's just like a sort of... Stubble? No? Goatee, full beard. There's not like a stubble. Do clean shaving. Ah, I suppose that that works. Clothes, you can choose our clothes. I don't know we could go with this nice. Oh, actually, we'll go with that. Uh, can we go with nice red? Yes, we can. Nice black underneath. Yep. Formal pants or cargo pants, suit pants. I like how you can completely customize this all up. That's kind of insane. Why are Cheetos in this? I do not know. I don't want to know why they're in here, actually. Just going to leave that out. Loose fit jeans. And we'll go for a nice black color of them. Gloves. Oh, we can have some gloves, too. Why not? Have them in a nice red. Hikers. Sneakers. Oxfords. I don't know what any of these are. I just know shoes are shoes, and that's it. Um, I'll, I'll go with them, I suppose. Headgear. Okay, we can put on a hat. Oh, we could have a fedora. Uh, or beanie hat, or that. You know what, we'll just go with none. We'll just leave it just now. Uh, eyewear? Could have some. <laughs> well, no. Okay. Um, we could have an eye patch. Why not? Attachments. A cigar, a pipe, a cigarette, an earpiece. Oh, ooh, that's pretty cool. Uh, I can't even pronounce that. 
You know what? I might go with an earpiece. I'm gonna go with an earpiece. Yeah, we'll go with that. So details, scars. Where did I put that? Eye scar, tiger scar, bicycle collision, whip smack, turf war, broken nose, uh, tattoo, skull and dagger. I'm guessing that puts it on her arms. Two Haggard Eagle and G-Man, uh, you guys certain? Uh, we'll just go Skull Dagger because I can't quite see it. Alright. There we go. I think we're ready to do this. Some of these have got a little bit of character customization there, but you will get some characters as you unlock in the game. Like XCOM, we build them up, but there will be a vast difference in this. Is like you would outkit, outfit your XCOM characters with as much armor and humanly possible. Where in this. What you outfit them with, like if you outfit them with more casual clothes will allow you to be a bit more like they'd be able to infiltrate certain areas, whereas you have the other guys with heavy armor and everything. That is a submarine rising next to a tanker. But yeah, it's things like that. It's, it, there's a lot of play in your customization of how your characters look. This is Golf Yankee Juliet uniform, reporting contraband seized. Understood. Break off patrol. Head back to base. Tavarish, HMS Conqueror Narushal Radio Malchani. Sto? Pokazat your shuprok. A vistri? Nimedlena Maskoch Maskmu. Nimedlena. We got intel from Vladivostok. It's big, Steve. Langley seen it yet? No. Should they? Hell yeah, but use the network. We don't want anyone listening in. First the British, and now the Americans. Was there anyone else you wanted to involve in our plans? I am handling it, Valhalla. Get out. Both of you. Your incompetence has exposed us. Now Iceberg is in jeopardy. Doing all of this in the open was your idea. True. It was a simple plan that any fool could have executed. And you failed. Gentlemen, this problem is easily solved. Traitors! Now, now, don't shout. It's bad for your heart. Alright, so Tutorial, Operation Threshold. So, Beholder Initiative, Covert Ops, Urgent Top Secret Briefing. High value cargo hijacked by British. Agent Kingfish to redeploy in the UK. Run Recovery Ops, Phase 1, enter the British sector. Uh, collect necessary forms from secure locations. Activate the sleeper asset. Rook, further orders to be disclosed in due course. Now, what will happen is when you're actually fully setting up, you will be able to recon areas and you'll be able to, once you have something like assets, like you'll be able to bring in helicopter reinforcements or you'll be able to have drops with certain weaponry or whatever. Like you'll be able to map out the entire thing to see how best to do your strategy. Anyway, so reach the super agent, activate his control phrase, uh, steal ship shipping manifests and execute on the other side of the border evacuate not execute read that completely wrong but i'm already noticing the actual voice acting is really Don't really you stellar have a good reason for pulling me off that raf gig absolutely this operation is crucial to project iceberg why are you even talking to me you're taking an awful risk Nonsense. They may be expecting defectors, but not the kind of hardware you're carrying. Ihre Papiere, bitte. I mean... Whoa, okay, that's a lot of kit. Let's see what we can do then. Love how the sleeper agent activate his controlling phrase. That just reminds me of Civil War. Or the Winter Soldier. Okay, so we get Kingfish here. Alright. So you can see here... I'm actually going to up the voice uh, voice volume well, a little bit. Hello. So it seems to be a little bit low there. So we got here, you can see here, very, very similar to the way XCOM works. But in this way, like, he's got normal clothing on at the moment. So he can actually just walk up to that guard and they're not going to do anything. This blue bar here, as you can see here... 
uh, this allows this basically is his infiltration and if that goes down or if it gets compromised in any way you're going to be revealed you've also got your health which uh, is very apparent is health you know so let's uh, just walk over here hello don't mind me i'm just passing by Okay, so most actions cause action points. So you've got the AP as your blue, and then you've got your FP, which is your orange sort of diamond-like shape. So this can cost you fire points. Phantom Doctrine is a turn-paced game, so you will then, when all your agents' points are depleted, you end your turn. So we've got here moving action, so we can actually end our turn here. See what they're going to get up to. All right, so we got another officer coming down here. So be careful when entering a restricted area red zone. If the guard sees you, he'll call out the alarm. So you can see here, this has got red here. So if he spots me in any of this, I'm screwed. Whereas this, on the other hand, um, got this in here, I'm assuming we need to get to. Let's just kind of bring ourselves, so you're not going to let me come over there, you know. It's a tutorial, I need to do what I'm told. Skip the rest of the turn and the guard will continue his patrol. So we can actually do this and he'll just you know, walk on by. Alright, so we got a camera here. So avoid cameras with triggered alarm. So we can actually go in here. And am I gonna be There we go. Click click click. So there's gonna be a lot of things you're doing. Like it's gonna be a very stealthy well, it can be a little stealthy until things obviously like firefights break out. So we're just going to end our turn here just now. Why are we here again? Right, so we got a guard in here. So we're just going to go through the door. So enemy, uh, enemy agent located. This is one of the sleeper and user control. So let's see. Control phase. And you can see here that's going to use a fire point and it's got a cooldown on three turns. Oh, you all right there, buddy? Hello, how you doing, Rook? All right, so we do have this, so you can actually wander up there. But because he's one of these guys, so he is disguised as him, so we can actually have this. So the guard has takedown ability, so bye-bye. Boink. <laughs> all characters of a certain awareness. That's what I was on about, infiltration. Awareness is used by select actions, e.g. takedown. In combat, awareness allows agents to dodge when shot at, effectively reducing received damage. Awareness regenerates every turn, and it can be raised by abilities and items. Alright, so we now have that there, so we can actually end our turn to have done all that. Now, what you can actually do is do support. That stuff will let me, is it? And confirm. Now, we can bring in our support. How cool is this though? There's just so much. Like, there is a huge, high in depth level of detail. Don't worry, I'll clean the mess after you. Alright, let's get you up there. Now, what it is, is in other games, is you can actually have them that they'll hide the bodies, which is pretty cool. Right, so, we're gonna set up a breach now. Nearby agents move into designated area and shoot any encountered hostiles. Suppressing suppresses enemy overwatch requires at least two agents with higher capacity. Right mouse button on the enemies to lock targets. So, I'm gonna do. Let's see. I'm just gonna make sure that he is done. Select the breach ability, select the marked room for attack and confirm. Breach conf confers a damage bonus, making it extra deadly. Let's see how this goes in. Nice. Very nice. Alright, so we have that there. So note that a non-suppressed weapon always triggers the alarm and starts combat. So as you saw, he has a big gun and well, we're screwed. And I think we have to end our turn. There we go. Alarm has been raised, so they're going to be coming up here fairly shortly. Oh. So grab the documents from the safe. Okay, so we're going to just head over here. Uh, do we want to use him? There we go. Now we need to call an evac. <laughs> Directly to Glasgow. Oh, that's 
Alright, so we now need to get... So Evanqua uh, will take two turns to arrive. Set up Overwatch to guard the room. Alright, so let's see. Can put you... So let's do Overwatch. Now, Overwatch works very intriguingly in this, as you set an Overwatch area, and you can choose the direction it's in, which is actually pretty cool. I'm going to move him over here. And we can set up an Overwatch range all the way down there. So he will Overwatch there, he will Overwatch that way. So it's not just like an Overwatch indefinitely. You have to have them selecting a certain way. Alright, so we're going to end our turn and see what happens here. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Nice. Very, very good sound effects as well. And he's out of there. And you're noticing probably the one big difference between X Communists right now is there is basically an an absolute thing. Like when we get to actually target units. So I've been watching the, the sort of development of this game. As you have the ability, you will see that it will have in brackets a value, which we probably should be able to see from this actually. There we go. So we can see here damage 84, 54 in that. That's if he has this bar up any higher. So we can see here this is going to use 10, 10 ammo. It's going to use an action point and a fire point, and it's going to end his turn. Now, uh, let's see. We also have other attacks you can do as you unlock some abilities. You got here attack single, attack burst, overwatch, reload, so on and so forth. But we're going to do this because. Go. So Phantom Doctor has no random chance to hit, but attacks can deal varying amounts of damage, presented as follows. Maximum damage and minimum damage. Targets automatically dodge and don't come against attacks, provided they, they aren't at point-blank range. Dodging costs awareness. A, dodging, a dodged attack deals minimum damage, else is maximum damage. Damage is further reduced by target armor and cover. Note, in infiltration and at the beginning of combat, enemy awareness is always at zero, except for enemy agents who start with full awareness. So you can already see that there. So we want to get you down there. So, are you? The animation quality, everything though that this is absolutely brilliant. All right, so we got a unit over there. It's going to be neat. So some weapons are accurate enough to land devastating headshots, but cost awareness. So you can see here, this is going to cost us seventy awareness. So we're going to actually take the shot here just now. Pop, and he's out of there. And then we want to end our turn. So you're already seeing right from the get-go, you know, we're not even 20 minutes in. And there is a huge difference. Absolutely huge difference in the way that x this works. And I like it. Alright, let's get in here because we want to get to our evac zone. Let's go. There you go. Evacuate now. There we go. I don't think you even get a nice wee getaway scene and everything. It's like, see ya! Alright, so you've reached the end of the tutorial. There we go. That's it. That's that done. So, unsanctioned raid, Whitefish. We have arrived in Pakistan to check up on their alleged nuclear program. We enter the mission area in disguise, but it isn't foolproof. Keep clear of high-ranking Pakistani troops. Do not engage unless they are f fire first. Confirm the existence of the fishing device, and then evacuate before they know you were even there. So find proof of the project, and then leave. So you're only going to be taking down people if you need to in this mission. And it's going to be these type of missions. Oh, six weeks earlier. Huh. But you're going to be going all around the world, and the world, the actual craftsmanship to the levels is insane. It really is very impressive. You're a hopeless dreamer, Bolt. Seems we're in some hazmat suits. Alrighty, let's see. So we've got Durand, Deadpan, and is that Kanistan? Kanistan? So this agent is disguised and can safely go anywhere without raising any alarms. Suspicion actions witnessed by enemies or civilians will trigger combat. Enemy agents always see through a disguise. 
So we got he this guy here. And let's just walk over here. Hello there. And we've got this guy over here. So we can actually go in here and have a little look around as well. Hello. So we've got two in here. We could do a takedown on him. It's going to cost our awareness. Exertion. What's that do? Prove the movement range of this character by two. Uh, we're going to do this. Knock him out. See with this. Bye bye. So he's over there. Then we're going to bring D Durand in here. He could go, you know, in here. We're not getting any enemy sort of agents at the moment, from what I can see. But we can actually do heartbeat sensor. Suppose a body you cannot get there. Reveal enemies in the area without having line of sight. Ooh, blinding laser. Disables enemy overwatch and makes enemies unable to fire actively last one turn. Hmm. So we can't actually go over there just now. But we could just leave that there and we'll just end our turn. He's going to be walking down here. Enemy activity is quite high. Alright, let's have a wee look here. I'm going to bring you... And yeah, we're going to do a takedown. Da -da -do. Don't mind me, don't mind me. <laughs> then we'll, we can't, don't have a fire point obviously with this guy, but we do in fact have a fire point with this, so we can actually do this. And it doesn't need to be kind of cutscenes, like, mm -hmm. probably going to stuff them in a locker or something. But you don't actually kind of see what they do, you just kind of like led to believe what they can do. Let's see, what is this? Loot collected, spiral and light armor, excellent. Got some loot as well, which is superb. Any more over this way that I should know about? No, okay. Well, we're going to put you there, just uh, casually. We'll kind of just bring you out here. As you casually go through the window. <laughs> Hello. All right, so we need to, I mean, silent incapacitated target whose HP is lower than you, that of the attacking agent, non-lethal agent civilians. Zen. Proves this character's awareness regeneration. Longer encounters to vastly increase. Uh, we'll do that just now. So we're going to use that just now because he's probably going to need that. Not enough fire points, so we can't really do anything to you at the moment. You're over there. You are here. I think we'll end our turn just now. Oh, hello. So he's down in between the tanks. Righty. I'm here. Da -da -da -da. Down you go. Uh -huh. Down you go. Ugh. So we have you over there. I don't trust you. I'm not entirely sure if you can actually like loot bodies or anything. It would be kind of cool if you could. Oh, there seems to be some looting we could do over there. So I'm going to actually head out this way. Just to make sure that everything's covered. Because the more or less people there, the less people to trigger an alarm that I don't know about. Alright, so what equipment have you got? You've got a fire grenade. You've got a focus. Focus awareness helps avoid damage. Let's just do that just now. What else have you got? You get that. Yeah, we'll just leave that just now. I'm here. Right, now what we want to do is we want to get rid of these just now. Just so they're gone. Alright. Now we're going to put you right here. I'm going to get you to get rid of that one as well. Alrighty. And I've just realized there is that one over there. Oh, hello. What is this? That we probably should go get rid of.
just to make sure that nothing else is going to be happening here. All right, there we go. Okay, so that is all the bodies uh, gotten rid of. We got some resources down here we could probably get a hold of. It seems we got something over here, so we're going to have you heading down towards that. But we're going to end our turn just now and see what the enemy gets up to. We are heading over this way, which is fair enough. Yeah, I want you to head all the way over there. And through the window you go. Anything over there? No. Okay. Gonna have you head down and into here. Because I want to get the loot. And then we're gonna have you, um... Yeah, you advance. And we'll just... Yeah, we'll just end the turn. Should be okay. Alright, I want to go in and get that. Goodies for me! Ooh, very nice. Alright. Don't think you can move from that, so next yeah. we'll jump over to you and have you go and get that. Right, so one of four confidential stuff collected. I'm just going to put myself here just now. I'm not really going to do anything because I don't want to do anything with him. i will get you over here, so let's see. What abilities have you got? Take down, exertion, stabilize, focus. Hmm, what equipment have you got? Flashbang and first aid kit. Don't be pulling out any guns right now, so we're just gonna advance in here. Hello there, how you doing? Doing right there? Just casually having a little look here. Alright, so now that we've actually had a look in there, we're going to do it. There's nothing over there, is there? No. So we're gonna head you back over so we can have a little bit of you know, reinforcements. Alright, yuki yuki. Can I have you take him down? You can 50. Yeah, you have recovered, so let's do this. Good night. Doink. Can't really dispose of his body because body, he's already used his action point right now. Or fire point, should I say. Standing by for orders. Night night. Alright, I think that will be it for just this turn anyway. So let's have you get as close to being back up for them. Going to have you dispose of that. Uh, nope. Not that. Whoopsie. Dispose of that body. Stuff it in a tank or something. <laughs> it's like, yep, yeah, don't worry about this. And then we're going to have you also do the same thing. Hmm, this is going to be an interesting one to get through. Go there. Don't think you can move. Nope, everybody's finished your turn, so we'll just end that just now. Yeah. Alright, let's bring you through. And it looks like we've got some documents in there, so I'm going to head over here just now. We'll have a little bit of a eye shot, see what's in there. Yeah, we've got so we got a someone in here just now. And we got another one down here as well. Don't wanna go shooting anybody, but we do want to excuse me. There we go. Take a nice wee picture. So that's two of four, which is good. And I think what we, I mean, does, can we go through that? I know we're going through that, still can't get through that bit. So, we need to reach the sealed off area. So we're probably gonna need to do something in here. Wait a minute, where do these cables go? Hmm. 
Maybe this is flashing, so I'm assuming it's got something to do with that. So we're gonna have to have a wee look and see. Where's our other character? You're way down there, aren't you? There we go. Bring you away up here. Tell us that we're not really needing to concern ourselves with defense at the moment. We're completely in infiltration mode at the moment. So unless we come across an enemy agent, we're not gonna be doing any damage to ourselves. So I'm going to walk in here, so we can have a little look at these guys and know what we're working with. That's going to be a field attack. Well, we don't want to be doing that just now. Yeah. Let's bring you all the way up here. Through the window again, of course. Right, let's see. don't really want to do anything that's going to trigger something we do. Ah, okay, so that would actually go through that alarm, which we don't want to do right now. Laser barrier. There's definitely something valuable in here. Get rid of them before you stroll through one. Well, that's kind of the idea. Hello there. Just helping you out here. Don't hey. you worry about me. Right, we're going to have you... Come in there. Don't want to do anything else because I think that would trigger something. If you suddenly take a picture of that. Let's cook it. Hello. How you doing? What's cooking? Good night to you. Uh, so that's there. That would be there. How close are you? Standing by for orders. You could actually go in and not come out. Night, night. And you can then not come out. So there's a lot of things you're not just having to concern yourself with. You don't just have to concern yourself with your health. You have to then, fo you know, your focus. If you lose any of that, if you lose any of the awareness, you will not be able to, you know, dispose of bodies. You will have less armor, so to speak, as well. And I think that's us for that just now. Right, take a picture, that's three of four, and we're going to spend this turn just getting rid of the bodies just now. I mean, we're in a lab, they might use some acid or something. I do think that's quite a nice little thing though, because it means you're not just... You know, doing stuff for the sake of doing stuff. There we go. I think that deactivated that. Yep. So they disabled that. <laughs> I love how that's optional. It's like, yes, that's an optional trait. Sure. Is there anything else that's in here that we could possibly gain access to? No. All right. So back out we go. You as well. And you out as well. I'm not sure if there's going to be any. I don't think, because that seems to be. It's not letting me go any further. So I'm assuming that's the end of the map. We're just uh, heading this way. Right. I'm going to bring you over to here. That door up there. That is, in fact, a door. Which looks to have something in it. I'm gonna head you that way, just in case. Have a wee look here. Right. Bring you through to here. Right, what do we got? What do we got? We've got a person over here. Doesn't look like we have much in the way of end sale, so we're just gonna end our turn. That wall, I think, is actually gonna come straight in behind that. So what we'll do is we'll have a little look, see if it is. That is blockade. So we can, in fact, go there. Well, we can go here. Uh -huh. Don't mind us, we're just uh, in and checking up on some some things. So find a proof of the project, which is going to be in that way. Good. Looking for the reactor. No luck. Trace 
cases everywhere, though. It's there, guaranteed. Keep looking. What the? Oh, everybody's finished the turn, okay. So we have this enemy unit going around, and he does happen to have an Uzi, right what it looks like, on him. We need to find the other intel, although that might be this, I think. No, wait, that's going to be that, and that's going to be collect additional intel. Okay, can I go through this now? Possible? Nope. Alright then. What if we just kind of come along this way? I'm not sure if he's... I'm going to double check. Does he have... No, he's not. He's not an enemy agent, uh -huh. so he should be okay. Just go up and uh, knock you out. Don't mind me. Just coming along to have a little check up on things. And night-night. Mm. I'm going to bring you over here. So, yeah, this is feeling a little bit stealthy and everything, but you do get fire outs and everything, but this mission, you know, wants us to be as discreet as possible. Though I get the feeling something is going to happen, whether I like it or not. Let's dispose of this while we're at it. Okay, so. What abilities do you have? I mean, you've got the heartbeat sensor, so we can actually come over here. We could do heartbeat sensor. Confirm. Alright, so we got two in there. Alrighty then. Abilities you got, you get the same thing. Pick up agent, stabilize. Nope. Doesn't look like you have anything at the moment. Uh huh. I'll put you over there. So, thing is, we could barge in here and do a breach. But I don't really want to do that right now. I mean, they don't seem to be agents, and I don't want to be doing it. All right, so we get free in there. Okay, that's going to be a tricky one. Hello, we're just here checking some papers. Don't mind us. So there's someone behind there. I can hear so uh, very clear there's something in there. Now that's going to att attract him. That will also... Let's go this way. If I was to take you down, that's going to alert. Uh, is there a breach on the roof? No. Alright, that's going to be tricky. Da -da -dum -da -da -dum -dum. That will also trigger him. Mm. We're going to need you in here. Sorry, guys, I, I needed to get in here very quick. I notice there's a camera. Huh. That camera linked to anything. It's going to end our turn just now. This is going to be a tricky one. Because if we go there, it's going to trigger that. Because I think the camera's connected to someone, but I don't know if I can find anything to deactivate it. So the only thing I can think of is if we all three of us breached at the same time. I mean, if I put you out there, let's see if this actually works. It'll be a good sort of trial and error for this video. It's gonna... Don't worry about us, we were just checking up on things. And you come out to here too. Right, let's end our turn. Right, so we want to breach. We want to breach, and oh, now we don't have it. Oh, we can't see inside there now. Uh, damn it! Right, so we can see them all now. I'm here. Okay, so we can breach. Right, so have you go with that. You're gonna be on uh. mm. 
Zeal to 70. So we're also going to be... You go in there. You go in... Actually... You go... No, you go for him. You go for him. And you go for him. Confirm! Let's see how this works. <laughs> oh, cheer, sure. I just wanted to do that, you know? That was very nicely done. Very nice. That was really nice. I like that. Alright, so we have that done. Let's, uh... Put you on Overwatch at all? Take down Heartbeat Sensor, Blinding Laser, Pick Up Agent. No, we can't. Let's get you over there. There was no other way to do that without taking damage. From what I could tell, anyway. Alright, let's end our turn. So, suppress gunfire. Right. That is a rather large gun. Yeah, anybody have a silencer? No, okay, so you have that. Single shot would be able enough to take him down. Jess, where do you think you're going, buddy? I don't have any action points left. Oh, fuck that. Don't even think about you getting a run away. God dang it. I read you. I think you will let the guards. Maybe, if there's any left that I've been knocked out. Oh, hi! How are you doing down there? You just sit in there. In that wee corner. Or you could run out and... Can I do a takedown on him? Doesn't seem to let you actually do a takedown once this has been initiated, but that here. seems okay. I'm gonna get over here. Oh, nice. Go. So obviously that was an optional objective, but I felt that it was something that might give us a little bit extra stuff to use. In and click. Oh fuck. Leslie, Bolt totally owes you ten bucks. We've got a reactor and what looks like a fission device. And the test Extraction order confirmed. Get out of there. Now. Copy. Alright, we need to jump over the wall from the roof here. Bolt? I heard you. Activate your beacon now. I'll meet you at the LZ. Guess we need to jump over ah, okay, so it needs to go up there. What the let's get up there. You as well. So evac is in four turns. Now the way it works out, as you've probably seen with some of the information that's popped up, is the enemies will have things that they can do like that as well. Is there something to consider when you're playing this? Yeah. Probably feels like I'm going to be walking into an ambush of some kind right now. You there? Anything? Nope, nothing. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. We 
reinforcements arriving where? There by any chance? Maybe. Um, what was that? Let's get over there. You over there too. And... You know what? We're just going to get you completely out of there as well. I don't trust whatever's about to come out of there. <laughs> Our evac is due in a, a turn, so should be okay. Wait a minute. I don't know where we came through. Uh -huh. My skills are at your disposal. Take you over and to, uh, you can't reach. I can hear running a. Oh, hello, you're the way over there. Fair enough. Here comes our evac. Wait, that is our evac, not the enemy, yeah, right? I think that's the evac. In we go and evacuate everybody. That's actually really cool. I like the way that's done as well. It's really, really nice. There's one big thing, there's one big component we've still not been able to show you guys yet, which hopefully after this mission we will be able to do, is the compound and what you can do. So there we go, nice uh, completion there. So chapter one, out false. Leslie, my mentor, asked me to investigate rumors of nuclear research in Pakistan. We witnessed a cold test of a fission device, which means that Pakistani are, mo are at most months away from gaining nuclear capacity. There we go, so secret documents collected. So you get new agent candidates, uh, you get some secret files, you got some weaponry picked up as well. You've got some armor, openly hostile. Now by openly hostile, meaning if you put that on one of your agents when they're in the field, they will not be able to walk up to anybody without it being like, oh, hello. So there we go. We got this here. We got some new perks as well. So we can add, and we do new perks, and you can have up to quite a few of these. On the line. Someone must have told him about our little trip. Put him through. Agent Deadman, uh, I regret to inform you, and an inspection of your operations is imminent. Why is that? Hard to be sure, but my money is on the allegation of an unsanctioned operation in Pakistan. I literally have no idea what you're talking about. Leslie isn't your handler anymore. I am. Keep, keep ignoring that and you'll lose the squad. Fend her out. Alright, so the infirmary is where you can assign if people get injured, of course. You've got your crew quarters, which has got all your agents in, that you have available to you, and you can do a lot of stuff. So crew quarters allows you for equipping your agents. Also, when they level up, they can be set, set to tradings, unlock intuition perks, which can make them more effective in combat. You've got your workshop as well, and workshop allows you for crafting items otherwise unavailable and perform various unlocks and upgrades to your hideout facilities. And analytics here allows you to, so an analytics can assign agents to solve the secret files. Over time, they will, they will work on them for you and notify you when they're either done or no longer have intel to work on. So we've got here, we've got the investigation board. So we're going to actually put that. So you want to go through a quick investigation board tutorial. Yes, we do. So here, this is where the game really opens up and how much depth there is. So you can draw a line to related files. So you go here and here. So now make, t uh, now make the two remaining connections. Uh... Here and like nope. 
one connection remaining. Oh, wait, nope. You there. Okay. Additional intel is obtained from informers, interrogation, and during tactical missions, among others. In this tutorial, get it for free. So, you've received this new intel, so we got that there. So, some intel requires additional analysts. Open it. So, you can see here. Uh, figure out the keywords from the context of sentences. Look for code names for agents, places, and organizations. So it's not going to be as simple as clicking that. It's like you have to actually, you know, well, that, right, so we got that there. Now to find the other two missing keywords. All right, so cover girl, before you throw another fit, yes, I have read your report on the incident of the Atlanta Convention, but even if you're in tell about the big daddy crossing the state border two days prior, losing his tail for a whole of 40 hours is true, it's the circumstantial evidence. I still called Aguirre's office in case they wanted to pass press charges and they told me explicitly to drop it. Much as I agree, there's something fishy about it all this, my hands are tied. Alright. Let us see. Cover Girl was one of them, one of the alias remaining. To do Atlanta Convention, but uh, that one. Figured it may be that one. Close the intel. There we go. Make the two remaining connections. So we have this, so they're going to be connected to that and connected to that. Nope, wait. This. There we go. And that will, So that to that to that will be equals this. Tutorial complete. So there we go. So there's a lot of... I would say... You could say paperwork in a sense. Um, but it's not going to be too much of a thing. You've got this here. So you've got the world map. You've got, obviously, your intel here... You got your world map that you can go to, so managing your espionage network is all about deciding who goes where and when. Enemy agents are conducting operations with more or less dire quest consequences. Your job is to find them, assess the danger, and decide whether to stop or conserve your resources. Every job and every assignment takes time to complete, and while you are in the hideout, time is paused. You can only activate it when in the world map screen. When time flows, your assignments and jobs progress. So very, 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 again, very, very similar. To, so you can see here to the likes of XCOM in that sense. But you see here, this is our big, big hideout here, and you can see there's some things you can add on. A bit dusty looking. So we can actually go into our workshop just now. Uh, infirmary expansion, crew quarters increases agent limit, uh, unlocks a tactical recon job, allowing to gain tactical advantage to your missions, analytics expansion, additional investigation board, and you've got a bunch of guys that you can actually put on things. So we're probably gonna, so he's got crafting talent, so he's faster at crafting which would be in the workshop. So select and upgrade. Um, what else? Oh, we got here. So unlocks of forger, cash forging, character customization, and identity. I think we want that. All right. So he is going to be doing that. So lockpicks, flashbang, lockpicks. Uh, let's get some lockpicks going. We don't have this. We don't have any extra co uh, that done just now. So we'll just jump out of that. Crew quarters. We can see here they've all got a nice little icon. Which is great. You can also hire extras if you wish to. So you can actually locate. You can actually see them. Whatever they actually are. So we can close that just now. Because we don't be doing that yet. You can see here. Uh, he's got this here. So agents gain new abilities and weapon proficiencies through training. Weapon proficient allows modding and reduces headshot costs. Any given training can be overwritten at will with another. So you can see here. Uh, he's got his current training is a contact... Uh, contact tactics so he's got blinding laser and pain stimulus whereas this would be upon healing on the characters character also stores a small HP and this has got basic firearms so we'd actually be able to get all that so I think we'll go with this there we go he again as well but he's also got a perk they can do so you can pick one of the given selection of perks for each new perk slot there will be a new random set to choose from perks are permanent though so you go to here, so which one we got? So it increases the width of the Overwatch cone. Agent cannot be suppressed. Increases HP recovery and hideout. And throwing grenades no longer ends turn. I think we're gonna be there going with this. Along with so we're at level two of this, so new training, and that would be level one. That would just take us right there. So it's searching it's top trait. Confers bonus damage against suppressed characters. And I think we'll go with this. Stop out your training for that. Uh, now nah, I'm going to leave you for that. So we're going to leave them all just now. But this, Deadpan has the most stuff going on here. So he has a good perk. So decreases awareness of the cost of takedown. Increases maximum awareness. Proves benefits of half cover. I think I'm going to go increases maximum awareness. And crafting talent. 
and he's got recon talent, bonus experience for recon jobs, and combat senses increases maximum awareness. So he's got all that. You can also choose different weaponry. Oh, guess got in here again. Uh, you, so you see here all the weapons. You've also got that. So we obviously unlock that. You've got some armor. You could also put on the light armor. You've got the different obviously items you can take along with them. And this is here, you can you know select what stuff they want. Because these guys are training your crafting, these are available just now. I <laughs> you can actually change it for that. I uh what is this? Proficiency grants faster reload and cheaper headshots. I'm gonna put you there. I'm also gonna give you that, and I'm gonna give you that, and I'm gonna give you that, and I'm gonna give you that. So this person here is gonna be one of these people that will, you know. If they're in battle, or you know, they they can either stay at the back until the other ones do their stuff, or they're going to be like there. Um, okay, so we got some abilities here as well, and got proficiencies. Agent code name Spitball. Agent background freelance. I love how you can see all this going on between them. It's actually really really cool. But guys, I think with that said, I'm going to leave it there for today's Smash Look at Phantom Doctrine. It's been a, obviously a bit of a longer run because there's a lot to take in, but hopefully you've enjoyed this and you're enjoying what you're seeing in Smash Game. No, be sure to subscribe for more. And if you're enjoying this, then let me know. And I'll see you all next time.